Hi everybody, welcome back to Ibex Running. I am Coach Rachel. Today we have a progressive walk workout for you. I hope you guys are ready. If you're new to Ibex Running, make sure you have a water bottle and a towel handy. If you missed any of my callouts, any of the change ups for speeds or inclines, don't worry. All the numbers will be located over here on this side of your screen. If you look over onto this side of your screen, we're gonna have a progression bar showing you where we are from start to finish during this whole entire workout. So I hope you guys are ready. Look down at your tread. Get ready to hit that start button in three, two, one, go. We're gonna start off at a 2.5, 3.5. So this is just a walk workout. So if you're new to fitness, you're new to working out, don't worry, don't stress, enjoy it. Right, we're here for a minute. I'll give you the road map in just a few seconds. 2.5, 3.5. After this, we're gonna take it up another minute. Just pick up the incline speed, it's gonna stay the same. I want you to just take a few seconds. Focus on your inhale. Focus on your exhale. Don't hold on to anything. If you've been into any of my classes, I always say, let everything go. Don't hold on to stress. Roll the shoulders down and back. Find your breath, find your focus. 20 seconds, we're just gonna hit that incline up to a 3.0. Yeah, gonna get the blood flowing in different ways today. It's not always about speed. That incline does a whole lot of magic. Take it up to a three, in three, two, one. All right, so we're here for another minute. After this, we're gonna just take it down a little bit, speed up a little bit, and then we're gonna start our first round of progression hills, okay? Five rounds. So once we do this, each round is gonna be 90 seconds long. Both hills are completely different. First hill, the incline is gonna stay the same. We're gonna just change our speeds a little bit, okay? We are gonna be on a hill, not the steepest hill, but a nice steady hill. We got 30 more seconds. We're gonna take the incline back down to one. Pick up our speed. So we're at a 2.5 to a 3.5. We're gonna take it to a 3.0 to a 4.0. That's gonna be our starting point, okay? From there, we're building on. Don't worry, don't stress out, you have it. You got this. 15 seconds, incline goes down to one. Speed goes up to three to four. In five, four, three, two, one. Take that incline down, pick up the speed just a little bit, okay? <clears throat> 3.0, 4.0. Last minute. Get our body nice and warm, right? Let's check in with our body really quick in this last minute. So, when we're on our treadmill, I know we have these beautiful bars that we would love to hold on to. Fight the urge, hold on tight, use that core strength, especially when we go up these hills. We hang out and we're not really moving the whole entire body, we're just working the upper body. We let go, using our cores, using our legs, using the upper body to keep the arms swinging. That's how we get a full body workout. So don't cheat yourself. Remember, you cheat yourself, you cheat the workout, and you only cheat yourself. So 15 seconds, 3.1, 4.1. First round of hills, our first round of our progressive hills. And kind of stays the same for the next five, well, a little longer than five minutes. In three, two, take it up to a three. Give me just point 0.1, point 0.2 on that speed. See? <sighs> Sometimes I feel like people are scared to work out, they're just nervous that it's gonna be tough, so they just give up before it even starts. Remember, I'm not there with you. You gotta listen to your body. I'm here to push you, to tell you that you can do so much more than you think. But if you feel like you need to slow it down, don't worry, slow it down. Try to get another day, give it 15 seconds, give it a little break, jump back on it. All right, Whew, got a minute left here. We get it, we get it. Used to this, right? Nice, easy flow, nice, easy pace. Not doing anything crazy with the hills yet. The next round of hills. I think we're gonna change up the incline a little bit. But this is a 21 minute workout, okay? If you can't devote 20 minutes, 21 minutes to yourself, you need to reevaluate how you are spending your time. Remember, we have one life to live. You want to make sure that you're healthy enough and happy enough. Remember, working out does give you endorphins. It does make you happy. As much as it sucks while you're through it, going through it. After, cheesing. Straight cheesing. Here we go. You got five, four, 
three, two. All we're gonna do is take it up 0.1, 0.2. So you're at a 3.2, 4.2. It's gonna start getting a little bit faster. Depending on your size, I always say if you're taller, it's easier to hold a little bit of a faster pace. Shorter side, you know? Maybe you're in those threes. <sighs> Good. So every now and then check, because what happens, we're gonna start speeding up. We might start bringing the shoulders up. Relax the shoulders down and back. You don't have to keep the arms tight, like as if you were running also. Get a nice swing to it. And then just tune out. Why I tell people when I teach them my classes, go to your little happy place. Where it's like therapy. Where you're in the zone. Where you're just in your own thoughts. I mean, you can still hear me and listen to me, but you're enjoying it at your own pace. Maybe you're manifesting goals. Maybe you're making dreams. Whatever it is, it's your 21 minutes. All I want you to do is enjoy it. All right, last 30 seconds. We take it up again. <clears throat> See, we're already on part three. We got five parts in this first two, okay? We're gonna take it up three. I'm so bad, Pump mouth, my hand-eye coordination is, must not be that great. 3.3, 3. in three, two, one. Just give me an extra one, it's an extra one. 90 seconds. So now you can notice, you start picking up the pace, you might feel a little bit more in your core. All right, so squeeze it nice and tight. Don't stick that booty out. Don't dip the chest down. Nice tall chest. Nice L shape into the throat. And then smile. Maybe a little wink. <sighs> Remember when we walking too, or rolling heel to toe. Not landing on the pads of our feet like we do when we run. Good. So, we got about 40 seconds left. Going on hill number four already. So, this is not so bad, right? Let me know. Let me know if it's your first workout here at Ibex Running, if it's your 500s. What is it that you like? What do you like to do? I like these hills. Sometimes I like a nice steady pace. Build a little bit more endurance. 20 seconds. Remember, if you go a little bit less under your threshold and go for a little bit longer, you're gonna build endurance. If you move short and fast, we're building power. A nice little endurance pace here. Get ready. 3.4, 4.4, three, two. Take it up. It's only an extra one, right? Why don't you start thinking about those glutes, right? Squeeze your butt. Squeeze it, squeeze those hamstrings. Yes. Maybe a little bicep flex, yeah? Got a little mirror in front, get a little flex off. And then we have one more hill. One more hill in this first round. Just like that, right? Time flies when we're walking it out. Fastest one so far, the next one. Speed still staying, the, I'm sorry, the incline is still staying the same. 3.0 on that incline. We're at a 3.4, 3.5. We're going to a 3.5 to a 4.5. Maybe this is the fastest you've ever moved these legs. You can do it. 30 seconds. Then we get a one minute recovery. And then we get to do something even better. First round, it's just a little taster round. Yep, just getting the palate wet with, with workouts. And then we go a little harder. Here we go, 10 seconds. 3.5, 4.5, and four, three, two. See, now this is the one that's gonna generate the heat start dripping the sweats. I love that feeling when you're walking. Start stripping down your back. I feel like you got somewhere. I mean, I'm naturally a sweaty person anyways. I don't know if you saw any of my running workouts. I just sweat in the most unattractive places, like a mustache. So. Keep breathing. 
got a minute left. We get a 90 second recovery. It's gonna take us back, not completely flat road. Keep it on one on an incline, okay? Small, tiny hill. And then just take it down 3.0 to 4.0. We still got about 45 seconds though. Good news though, after this, after the, we hit this recovery, we're already halfway through this workout. So if this is the longest you've ever worked out, congratulations. You're crushing it. Let's keep up the momentum. Let's go a little harder. It's just that cherry on top of the cake or the ice cream. I don't know which one it is, but you know, hills, the progression hills, part number two, that's where it's at. 15 seconds. <clears throat> 10, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2. So we're going to take it down to a 1 on the incline. 3.0 to 4.0. It's a little bit slower. Catch our breath. Notice the difference as the treadmill decreases, the incline decreases. You feel your core kind of start to relax. You didn't even realize it was working that much. All right, so now we're gonna start. The speed is going to stay the same, okay? But the incline is going to increase. 90 seconds each round, okay? We have five rounds. I don't want you to go with the slowest speed because you just can, right? We're here for a reason. I mean, sometimes we just need a break, I understand. But let's, let's devote the next five, whatever, seven and a half, eight minutes to really push in ourselves out of that little box that we hold ourselves in. You got 30 seconds. What is that, what do I, what do I mean by that? Like, comfortably I can walk at a three eight forever, but maybe a four, I'm pushing my limits, right? So push it. Let's start somewhere where you're picking up your heart rate, okay? So we're at a 3.0 to 4.0. If you're at that three end, I want you to go a little bit more. This is our recovery, right? We're not recovering on this hill. We're going up the hill. Three, two, one, good. Right, so now we're going up. Give me a two on that incline. Every 90 seconds, we go a little higher. Climb a little bit more, reach the top of that hill. <sighs> Is this be challenging? Could you go a little bit more? I'm not asking for a run, I'm not asking for a sprint. I'm asking for a brisk walk, a almost to a power walk. Okay, maybe it's not the fastest walk you've ever been on, but it's somewhere close to it. We got a minute left. Then you're just gonna give me up to a three on that incline. Right? I mean, when you're working out, all of us always are trying to go so hard all the time, which is great. But then there's moments where you need these, these like nice relaxing workouts. You gotta love your body at the end of the day, you know? It does a whole lot. Carries you around every single day. You know, put you through your jobs, you got kids. And we sometimes are just so nasty to our bodies. You know, we don't do the best for it. So if you, sometimes we just bang it out, right? We just totally go so hard all the time. Our body also needs to chill and needs to relax. So if you want that type of workout, you can, but I want you just to go one step up, okay? One step up from a chill workout. We're still going hard. Still pushing a little bit more. Take it up. Take it up to a 2.0. I'm sorry, 3.0 on that incline. Woo, 3.0. I almost missed it. I just like jabbering my jaws, you know? It's called distraction. Distraction. Keep you guys listening. You don't even know you're working hard. Good. One minute left. <clears throat> We're going up to a four after this. So we're already, you only have two hills left. Did you look at that? All that stress you were worried about. No need to be stressed here. 
This is like my zen time. Get all my frustrations out, all my stresses out. Even if I am just walking, you can't tell me that you don't feel great after a workout. I wanna, if you, if you are the person that feels worse after you work out, let me know. Let's talk about that. Five, four, three, two, five on that incline. Five on that incline. Squeeze those buttons. Squeeze it tight. Oh, I'm sorry. What did we have? Four on that incline. Well, if you're at that five, keep it there. Right? I'm gonna keep it there. It's supposed to be four. You can go to five. Now we have two. I was jumping the gun. Five hills, not four hills, Rachel. You feel that core? Starting to feel a little toida. Working on that six pack. Squeeze, think about it. You ever hear the, the saying, mind to the muscle? You think about contracting the muscle. You're actually working it a little bit harder. Just concentrating on that part of your body. Squeeze the core. Someone punch you in the tummy. Pump the arms a little bit, okay. So we're coming up. Last three minutes. Steepest hills, okay? What is up at this top of the hill, guys? Imagine your perfect version of yourself is just waiting up at this hill. You're just gonna, you're walking up there to tag it so that you could be it, you know? Think about that hill. Think about that version of you. Take it up to a five, if you're not there yet. Three, two, and one. Oh, I was already there. All right, all right, so 90 seconds here. Then our very steepest hill of, of this whole entire workout today. <sighs> that version of you, is that a quitter? Are they, do they give up easy? Do they wanna stop when it gets hard? I know it's not the answer. I know everybody's gonna say no. The person at the top of the hill that we're tagging to come back down is a fighter, an achiever, a believer, you know? We don't stop to the very end here. No ifs, ands, or buts. Think of butts, squeeze it. Squeeze those glutes. 40 seconds. Steep it up. Six on the incline. Remember, pain is just the feeling. Think about a different one. Think about being happy. Think about how excited you are to be giving yourself 21 minutes of un, dis what is it? No distractions, just you. Here we go. Ready for that steep hill? 90 seconds in, four, three, two, six on that incline, 3.0, 4.0 on that speed. After this, guys, we come right back down the hill, finish our little recovery, and that's it. Then you guys, drag and drop started from the beginning. Just kidding. Unless you want to. <sighs> Dance it out. One minute left. This is it. When you see the finish line, you're like super excited. You're like, yes, I made it. I'm almost there. Don't be one of those people that slow down before you cross the finish line, though. No. Finish it. Then you dip the chest forward. That's a track thing. Anybody knows? Come on. Here we go. Last 30. Look alive. Everybody smile. Here we go. Pump it out. Pump it out. Pump it out. Stand up tall. <sighs> 20 seconds. So from here, we're going to take the incline down. Don't touch the speed. Flat road, okay? Give me 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, flat road here. Take it down, keep the speed the same. About a couple minutes to cool down. Notice the difference. Notice that, that little tense in your tummy. Start to relax a little bit more, but keep it flexed. Fight the urge to let it completely go. Hold it in tight a little bit. Oh yeah, now you feel short, right? I was like, I'm so tall with the incline up. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Then we take it to our final minute. You guys should be proud of yourselves. 21 minutes. These hills, they got pretty steep. Picked up our speed a little bit. I'm sweaty. I don't know about you guys. 10 seconds. Keep it on the flat road. 2.5, 3.5. Just decrease the speed a little bit. In three, two, one. Slow it down. We're still walking it out. We never want to jump off this tread while our heart rate is so high. Give it a few minutes. Bring it back down. Inhale and exhale. Keep breathing right through it, okay? Proud of you guys. We got 30 seconds left, that's it. Again, hydrate, stretch, towel off, and then meet me back here next week. Let's do it again. We don't wanna give up. This isn't something we just do once every blue moon. No, you have to devote time to yourself. Meet me here at least three or four times a week. Come on, we could do that. I'm here, come hang out with me. Here we go, 10 seconds. You can hit that stop button. In five, four, three, two, hit that stop button. Remember, this is Ibex Running, I'm Coach Rachel. This was our progressive hill walking workout. I'll see you guys next time.